Hi Aquarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of March 19th through the 25th. This is for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising Signs. So Aquarius, for this reading I'm using the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck along with the Healing with the Fairies Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Alright, and at the bottom of the deck I do have the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is a beautiful blessing from the heavens, a new beginning that's going to make you very, very happy emotionally. It also can be something you're falling in love with. It can be anything from like a new relationship to you reconciling with someone. It can be any new beginning that you're falling in love with. So it can be a home, it can be a job, but it's something that's going to bring in that emotional abundance. The overall energy is the Seven of Wands, so very interesting. Seven of Wands is what I call that warrior spirit. This is a very passionate, a very courageous energy. And, you know, this can represent some of you, you know, not backing down, not giving up. Can be you willing to fight for what it is that you want. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are, but it's that very passionate energy. So you actually have a couple of aces here in the spread Aquarius. So maybe some of you, you know, you're very passionate about this blessing, this new beginning, this opportunity. And, you know, with the seven of wands, you're not going to back down when it comes to this. With the seven of wands, this person is always successful. As long as he doesn't back down, he doesn't give up, he will be successful. So no matter you know, what this is, you know, when it comes to this blessing, this opportunity, don't give up. You know, stay strong, stay passionate. Um, but what's interesting is we have this very passionate energy here with the Seven of Wands as the overall energy, and then the Nine of Wands, which is you persevering, not giving up, not quitting, hanging in there, even if you feel, you know, physically exhausted. This can be someone who's been through the ringer, they're exhausted, they're tired, they might feel like giving up, but they're not. So for some of you, you know, you might feel incredibly tired when it comes to this, but you're hanging in there. You're not going to quit. And as long as you hang in there, you will be successful. The chariot is the ultimate victory card. You actually have a couple of cards here speaking about victory and success. So, you know, some of you need to hang in there. You will be very proud of yourself, um, you know, for hanging in there. Good things do come to those who wait. So no matter how you resonate with this, hang in there. Um, you know, we have this Nine of Wands with this Queen of Wands. So lots of, you know, fire energy here. And it very well could be that some of you, you know, are involved with a fire sign person. So a Leo, uh, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. And so maybe you're in a relationship with this person or could be a business partner, could be a friend, a family member, you know, it could be a character that's significant for some of you. We do have a couple of queens here with the Queen of Wands. I also have the Queen of Pentacles here, so it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person that's significant. But, you know, I see you hanging in there, you know, for some of you. If, if you're in a relationship with this person, you're hanging in there, you're not quitting. That's for sure, not yet. Um, and then uh, for other Aquarians, I feel like this is your energy. You're just coming through incredibly fiery, passionate here this week. Uh, and you know, with the chariot, you are very much in the driver's seat. It's an empowering energy. Even though maybe some of you are tired of waiting, and maybe with this energy, don't feel like you're that much in control, but you actually are. And it's really up to you whether or not you kind of give up on this. And I really don't feel like you should. You should just hang in there. And as long as you hang in there, you will be successful. You will be incredibly proud of yourself for hanging in there. And the Queen of Wands, you know, she's a manifester. She's creative and she's passionate. And when she wants something, she finds a way to make it happen. So I think that some of you... That's, you know, that's where you're at right now is you're going to find a way with this fiery energy. Some of you could definitely be getting creative when it comes to this, but you're not going to give up here um, when it comes to this. Now, it could be on the job front, it could be on the job front for some of you here with the five of pentacles and then the queen of pentacles. Uh, 
This could be your goal. This could be what you're passionate about. Maybe you want to move up within the company that you work for or land a, you know, a better job or move house, whatever it may be, you know, with the queen of pentacles can be anything to do with finances, career, the home, family matters. Five of Pentacles is feeling some sort of lack, feeling challenged, could be, you know, challenged financially. Maybe the job that you're working at, you're overworked, underpaid, or just underpaid. Um, for some of you, you know, I would say don't lose faith. This can be a very down and out pessimistic energy for me. So when it comes to you landing that new job or even moving up within the company that you already work for, I would say don't lose faith. Stay positive. If you're struggling financially, there might be someone around you that can help you. Could be a family member, could be you know, a significant other. There could be someone around you that definitely can help you. Um, but this can also go both ways. So you, you know, you might have someone around, if it's not you, you might have someone around you that maybe needs your help financially or needs your help in some way with the five of pentacles. It can be, uh, it doesn't just have to be financial. Um, but then we have, you know, this beautiful ace of wands. You have the ace of cups, the ace of wands, and then the fool. So, I mean, opportunities are coming in as long as you don't give up. Maybe some of you need to get a little creative with this, but as long as you don't give up and you're willing to kind of go for it, maybe put yourself out there in some way or even take some sort of risk as, you, as long as you're willing to go for it, uh, you will be successful and you will walk down this new path. With the full, you know, it's a new opportunity, a new beginning, a new path that you're walking down, but it could require some sort of risk or leap of faith. And then the Ace of Wands is like a new adventure, an exciting new beginning, one that you're passionate about, but this is something you need to believe in. Don't lose hope when it comes to this. And don't give up. Keep working towards this. So very, very interesting reading. Um, I'm just seeing if there's anything else that I'm getting here. Yeah, some of you are moving towards these blessings. You have a blessing coming in. And for some of you, you know, it could be something you're very passionate about. It could be a new adventure, but it also could be something that you're going to fall in love with. Uh, it, it very well could be your own business. Um, some of you definitely could be starting your own business. Maybe the companies that you've worked for in the past, you haven't felt so secure there. And so by you, you know, going out and starting your own business, you know, you're really going to be relying upon your, yourself and it just might make you feel more secure working for yourself. Um, but let me pull you an additional guidance card. Let's see. Additional guidance for Aquarius. What else does Aquarius need to know? Additional guidance for Aquarius for this upcoming week. All right. So I have one card that's upright. This is the one that I want. Very nice. Miracle healing. So miracle healing. So, you know, if you've had to defend yourself or your beliefs, if you've had to stand your ground or just fight for what it is that you want or really be strong when it comes to dealing with a particular matter, not giving up. If some of you are tired, again, success is coming in. You will be successful as long as you don't give up and you continue on persevering. You will be successful. Uh, and you will rise up from all of this. So if you're tired now, you are going to heal. You are going to overcome, you know, this energy, obviously. Um, you're going to feel good about yourself and, and proud of yourself for hanging in there. Some of you financially, you know, financially, you could be definitely recovering in some way. Of course, with miracle healing, it can represent, you know, 
um, you know some of you that you know if there was like any sort of health problems that you were dealing with you know you could be healing you could be blessed with a with a miracle here definitely um, but I feel like for many of you this is more physically maybe emotionally physically and and maybe even financially here this healing energy that's coming in for you Okay, Aquarius, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttower.com. I wish you a great week.